Welcome to the Explore Composites Materials Library. This is laminate sample 45. This one is about very low density XPS insulation foam and how you might be able to make something useful with it, but probably not. Here's a quick look at the material. This is a about 1.2 pounds per cubic foot. It's meant for insulation. It's very easy to get. Um, really easy to crush, not very strong. And so I've coupled it here with some Gurit M60, which is about four pound SAN foam, to try and make a tougher surface on one side. And I'm drilling some holes through both of them to bleed off excess resin in hopes that they won't be super voidy on one side. I'm using some semi-permanent release here on this fiberglass surface. And the resin is West System. I've got this roller that I'm messing with to uh, wet it out. And on this surface ply, this is a very heavy duty surfacing veil, usually used as a print blocker and infusion. Um, it is wettable, but just by hand. And um, it's really hard to work the resin through. And of course I'm working on a white surface with a white fabric and it's super hard to see whether I've got all the air out and it will turn out that I don't have all the air out. This is a 7,500 um, plain weave fiberglass, about nine ounces, and one of these on each side. The idea with the veil was to thicken that outside surface so that it would be a little more impact resistant, a little bit thicker. And I wanted to see how well the vet wet out by hand. And so here is that M60 girt core cell. Uh, it's 0.2 inches thick, and I figured this was just thick enough that it would be, it would reduce the, the damage um, if you dented it uh, because that XPS foam is super light and you could just stick your finger right through it. And throughout this, I'm stopping to mix more resin. This is fast West system. When I'm working, it's pretty cold, about 60 Fahrenheit. And so I wanted to use the fast resin uh, so I could shut the vacuum pump off before nighttime. Um, here's that XPS wetting out all, everything with this little roller and you can see on the surface of the foam, I've cut little slits with a razor blade with the idea that it would allow air to escape under the bag and also to kind of key the surface together. Again, more resin. This may or may not have helped. Um, overall, the thickness consistency and the, the dents that were already in this piece of XPS foam um, made it so that it was not super uniform. Here's a nylon peel ply and a per film that has small holes relatively far apart and some super heavy breather because it's what I had. Thinner would be totally fine. I'm bagging this up and I'm only going to pull about half vacuum. The idea that if I pull full vacuum, first of all, it'll bleed off unnecessary amounts of resin and also it can maybe crush the foam. And what I'm also hoping here is that the vacuum will push down on that resin rich veil and squeeze some of that resin up and out into the foam. Um, on one edge of the foam panel, it got thinner. Um, the uniformity of that XPS insulation is nothing special. You can see it right on that front edge. Here I am demolding it, trying not to break it. It's super easy to peel the skins right off of this. And I've got a little, um, wedge that's used to, to shim with uh, construction and uh, it's awfully handy because it's a shallow wedge. Um, here looking at the surface there's a lot of kind of gross air on the surface. A couple of places where the veil and the woven didn't meet up nicely. Um, here's the look at the panel trimmed up. It's kind of hard to trim. I ended up doing a little delaminating. Just cutting it, pulling that peel ply off. The weight, 11 and a half ounces, 3.25 grams. Yeah, I'm not gonna use this hammer. Um, little tap. You can really hear how delicate that is. And on the side with the four pound foam, totally different story. 
I think this XPS material would really benefit from very relatively thick skins. Um, and here's some chunks that I cut. Um, you can see just how easy that would peel off. And on this side, just crushing that foam and it, it peels the foam apart. And I can just pull that skin right off. I'm really not sure that there's a good way short of significantly thick, you know, eighth of an inch, sixteenth of an inch skins um, to get something stable on this XPS where it just won't peel off. It has probably about uh, 25 PSI is the, the rated um, strength of the foam, but I can't believe it's even that looking at how easily this comes off um, comparing the two there, that four pound foam. It's just a world of difference peeling that off versus peeling it off the XPS. And you can see it definitely glued, took pieces of foam with the skins. You can see those knife cuts. Here's a little void area. Overall, that's a look at it. There's many things I do differently. This is one of those ones where I thought maybe I should throw it out, but then I figured I'd make the video anyway. Um, there's some value in seeing how these things work and also how they don't work. Thanks for checking it out.